So some of the things that I've seen uh, personally is just my own growth in leadership. Um, you know, I'm naturally an introvert. My extrovert comes out through sports and fitness. Um, but outside of that, once you, you know, are outside of the gym or this cardio studio, you know, you're back to your regular life. So just my natural growth in leadership, embracing that God-given leadership, that God has a plan uh, for me, you know, not necessarily um, uh, running away from that. Um, and in addition to seeing other people that I've worked with within my church, teaching the Revelation Wellness classes, just seeing their growth. You know, like, you know, people who don't feel like fitness is for them because they have to fit into a box or some type of standard, um, just grasping that freedom, you know. So me growing in my own leadership abilities and, and, take, and embracing that, taking that by the horns, and, but then also seeing how my effect, my growth is uh, passing that on to other people and seeing that this is for everyone. The table is set for everyone. What Rev has given me through that as far as a purpose, I wouldn't say that Rev gave me my purpose. I believe I think I've always knew it. It's more or less embracing that and Revelation 1 is providing the tools and the structure and the framework to allow for that to become a full reality. Um, I think a lot of times we do know what our calling is and I've, I've embraced fitness as part of my calling, but as far as being a fitness teacher, gospel preacher, I may have you know, not always wanted to embrace that, even though I was a believer in Christ, but now melding those two worlds together um, and just really going full force with it. You know, no matter if you're teaching a class in a secular world or whether you're actually teaching a Revelation Wellness class, you're always embodying those same principles. No matter where you go, you're still a gospel, a fitness teacher, a gospel preacher. All the guys out there, this is not a, a, a ladies only ministry. God has a plan for your life. This ministry is an opportunity for you to embrace the leadership qualities that uh, God has given us men as the leaders of our homes, the leaders of our communities, the leaders of our families. Um, and so we have to take that, you know, it's okay to be a little bit apprehensive, but don't allow that apprehension to just put you at a standstill, right? You know, we don't have to know what it's going to look like, right? So embrace that, come to a, a, a training, see it, experience it, and allow for it to naturally mature into whatever it's going to be, right? I, I I'm almost can guarantee that you're going to be a changed person and a stronger leader for your family and your community by coming to, to a, a, a training. It's really leadership training. That's, I mean, that's really what it is.